Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girlfriend Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So, if there's something in particular that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping a link in the comment section below, and we'll do it for you. You can check out our second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0. We post weekly content. You guys can hit the subscribe subscribe and just enjoy. We've got a podcast called Diving In with Funny and Jesse, and we have some amazing conversations which you guys don't want to miss. You can find us on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, uh, this channel, or our second YouTube channel for the visual. And we've got a Patreon which you guys can feel free to become members and we'll appreciate. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing. Everything that you guys are doing never goes unnoticed. So thank you. I hope you guys are doing alright and may you stay blessed. So today I'm going to be reacting to can good non-Muslims Muslim go to heaven like Gandhi and Mother Teresa Islamic video. Dr. Zaki Naik. But I feel like I've reacted to something like this but then maybe it's a different video. So I'm always excited to know what the video is about. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. As far as my knowledge goes, Mother Teresa was a Christian and she believed Jesus is God. So in Iman, she fails. Uh, good evening. I'm uh, Mahisan, I'm from Singapore. I work for a shipping company as a superintendent. I'd like to thank you and the organizers here for giving this opportunity. Uh, my question is, suppose if only Muslims are sent to heaven immediately after death, before judgment day, what will be the position of good non-Muslim souls such as Gandhi and Mother Teresa who are jihadis in their own rights for their own beliefs? Thank you. The brother asked the question that if Muslim die, immediately they go to heaven. What about good non-Muslims like Gandhi and Mother Teresa? What will happen to them who are jihadis in the right? Point number one, the moment a Muslim dies, he doesn't go to Jannah. That's a misconception. After a human being dies, he goes into barzakh, dormant. All the human beings will be resurrected on the day of judgment. After the day of judgment, all those who pass the test will go to Jannah. All those who fail the test will go to hell. All the people who claim to be Muslim will not go to Jannah. The criteria to go to Jannah is given to Sulay al-Asar. And regarding a question, what will happen to those non-Muslims who are good like Mother Teresa, and Gandhi, etc. When I was in school, I did my ICSC. There were six compulsory subjects you had to pass in. Six. Mathematics, English, Science, Hindi, Geography, History. I'm asking you a question. I pass in five subjects, 100 out of 100. In one subject, Science, I fail, I get 10 out of 100. Will I pass 10 to 10? No. Correct. Similarly, to go to Jannah, there are four things required according to Surah Al-Asr, chapter number 103, verse number 1 to 3. Wal as inna insan fi khus illa lazina amanu wa amilu salihati wa tawasaw bil haqqa wa tawasaw bil sabr. By the token of time, man is verily in a state of loss, except those who have faith, those who have righteous deeds, those who exhort people to truth, those who exhort people to patience and perseverance. For any human being to go to Jannah, to go to paradise, he requires minimum four things. He requires faith. Believe in one God, should not do idol worship, should not believe human being as God, should not believe Jesus Christ as God, peace be upon him, should not do idol worship, belief. Second is righteous deed, do good deeds. Third is exhorting people to truth. Fourth is exhorting people to patience and perseverance. You talk what will happen to Mother Teresa. As far as my knowledge goes, Mother Teresa was a Christian and she believed Jesus is God. So in Iman, she fails. Even in other three, she gets 100 out of 100. In Iman, she has failed. Will she pass the test? No. She may be very good. Same thing with Gandhi. As far as my information goes, Gandhi used to do idol worship. If you have in faith, they fail. Maybe in good deeds, they might have got good marks. Maybe. Even if I agree they have got good marks in good deeds, if they fail, because the biggest sin in Islam, according to Surah Nisa chapter 4, verse number 48, and Surah Nisa chapter 4, verse number 116, Allah will forgive any sin if He pleases, but He will never forgive the sin of shirk, associating partners with God. So anyone who associates partners with God, and if he dies as a mushrik, he will never go to 
Jannah. He will go to hell. Even those who claim to be Muslim, they will not go to Jannah unless they have faith, they do righteous deed, they do dawah, exhort people to truth, and exhort people to patience and perseverance. Only those people who have namesake, Naam, Zakir, Abdullah, Sultan, Muhammad will not go to Jannah. They have to pass in all these four criteria, then they'll go to Jannah. Hope that answers the question. What do you guys think about these four things um, Didat has mentioned? I'm very, very curious. What if, my other question is, what if uh, you do all these things, the belief, everything else, perseverance, everything else, but then that last day that you're experiencing life, maybe you die while you're doing something bad, you make, you're involved in some sort of sin, maybe it just depends, you're just involved in something. So. How would that go? As long as you pass the four things, is your other thing, is the other sin that you is the sin that you're making going to be forgiven? Because he said God will forgive you if He desires. So the if there really means something else. I'll just love for you guys to just close the blank for me. Let me so so let me know what you think. And if you've got answers to my questions, feel free to comment in the comment section below. We're always glad to read your response. If you want us to react to more things like this, drop us the link in the comment section below and we'll do it for you. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.